Now that we've got all the pieces of the mojo, we can start putting it together. We'll start by taking these custom touch brackets and attaching touch strips to them. Now we'll add some electrical tape to make the strips more tactile and prettier. Next, we're going to add some pull-down resistors, these little guys, um, that will make the touch strips act a little more friendly with the, with the brain, and then we're going to attach some lead wires to the touch strips so that they're easier to connect to the brain later on. Now that all the touch strips are ready to go, we're going to attach them to the front panel. And we're going to use some little washers, very little, as spacers to account for the thickness of the touch strips. And we're going to use these excellent uh, nylon locking nuts so we don't have to use even more washers. Next thing we want to do is get this little bracket on there that goes behind the Moldover logo. And um, before we do that, we want to take the status light off of our brain. That's the little light that just tells you when it's turned on. And uh, we want to get that on the bracket so you can see when your mojo is correctly connected to your computer. So we're going to desolder that and then glue it in here with some leads. Next, we're gonna work on these blue arcade buttons, and these have these funky little uh, funky little washers on them that are too wide when we want to put the buttons really close together. So we're gonna grind down those little spacers so that we can squeeze these real close together. Now that we got all the grinding done. Well, we still got the tools out. We're gonna make sure that all the buttons fit into the faceplate well uh, before we put this stuff away. All the buttons are in, looking a little snug and uh, and good. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down so they're they're not going away. Now these faders are a little hard to connect to once they're installed. So we're gonna add some leads via these so that they're easier to wire up, um, kind of like we did with the touch strips. Now we'll start attaching all the faders, knobs, switches, and other goodies to the front panel. Now we got one of these funky little switches and the holes in it are just a little too small, so we're gonna grind them up and make them a little bigger. The last component to attach to the faceplate is the brain. All right.
Alright, now that we got everything attached to the front panel, we can start wiring up the sensors to the brain. We're going to attach all the analog sensors first. That's the knobs, the faders, and the touch strips. Yeah. Alright, we got all the analog controls hooked up to the brain, and they're all uh, quickly tested out, so we're ready to move on to the digital connections. That's the uh, the buttons and the switches um, that we got all over the place, and with partic this particular brain uses a, a matrix for buttons. So we got to add diodes. Watch out for diodes. They have polarity. And also pull down resistors, much like other resistors we used. So we're going to wire all these up into a crazy button matrix. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of wires. Um, but it's all done, uh, wiring anyways, and now we can hook up the brain to a computer and program it so that all the sensors send the right messages, and then we'll test it and make sure they all send the full range of values and they're all working okay. Everything checks out okay. So now we can start working on the wooden part of the body. We're going to uh, put four feet in the bottom of this thing. Now the feet are all in there so we can install this back panel and the USB port that goes there. Next, we're going to put the front panel on the wooden part of the body, but before we do, we're going to sign it. Now we can add all the knobs and fader caps. And now we'll hook up the computer and do some final tests just to make sure everything's still working. Well, it's perfect. All done.